Hi, I'm Michaela, and I am going to show you the best recipe for minestrone soup for the family. And even if you don't consider yourself to be a very good cook or you get nervous in the kitchen, this is almost foolproof. It's so simple that anyone should be able to do it. So I've picked some veggies that are going to roast well together with the same amount of time. So all you need is to get a nice big roasting tray and you want to set your oven at about 200 degrees Celsius. So we're going to start with our onion, just peel it and top and tail it, whole on the tray, a whole beef tomato, two celery sticks, top and tail, in they go, two carrots, top and tail, I told you this is going to be easy, courgette, top and tail, in it goes, nice sweet potato and I'm just going to halve that and put that in whole, and then the final bit is a nice juicy butternut squash. Brilliant for soups. Make sure your hands are nicely out of the way. Sharp knife and cut it in half. Want to take the top off it as well. All these veggies are getting blitzed together. The skin can stay on. It's all full of goodness. And then because this is going to take a bit longer to roast, we're going to halve that lengthways. That goes straight into your roasting tray. Just drizzle them with a good glug of olive oil and into the oven they go at that 200 degrees Celsius. Time to get our veggies. There you go. Fork goes through nicely. All of them are nice and soft. So all you need to do now is blitz this up. We we'll start with those. And I'm going to add a splash of boiling water just to loosen it to get it going. You could use your stock, but don't forget, if you're feeding this to a baby, you want to really keep the salt content to a minimum, if any. So we'll just add a little bit of boiling water and the stock can come for the adults. And this is going to be ready for baby. So there we go. That hasn't got any salt in it. Look at that, look at the colour. Loads of goodness veggies for your little baby, ready done. So I'm going to spoon some of that out now, because this is going to be for the little baby that's being weaned. But on to the toddlers and the adults. This is now going to go into a saucepan, and into that we're going to add about 500 millilitres of vegetable stock. And for the adults, I'm going to season it with some salt and pepper. And now my tip, grab some spaghetti or linguine and literally, you often get them at the bottom of a packet, just tear them off into like little equal chunk sizes roughly. But you throw that in and that just gives a real heartiness to this minestrone soup. This is just going to go on the heat now for that time, whatever the pasta cooking time is, usually about 10 to 12 minutes on the heat and we're ready to eat. It's all cooked, it's ready to serve. This smells absolutely divine. Now I'm going to get some for the toddlers and the kids, which has got the lovely pasta. This quantity is enough for a family of probably about six. So obviously if you've got a smaller family, it's a brilliant one to freeze. Can't do without that bit of Parmesan cheese. I'm going to keep this off for baby, but for me, a generous amount of parmesan on the top. Let's have a taste. Mm. There is nothing better than a steaming bowl of minestrone soup. And especially for those kids who might be picky about certain veggies, they won't really know what's gone into this and they love it. 